Hi guys, today we will uh, uh, deploy the Maven web application in Tomcat server. So first we need to install Tomcat. The prerequisite, the prerequisite is like we have to install Java 1.8.0. Okay, let's start how to do this one. How to how we deploy the Maven web application in Tomcat server. Let's uh, see practically. launch instance tomcat demo amazon linux 2 Take instance type is T2 micro. I have my existing key pair. If you don't have key pair, create new key pair. Amazon Linux is my key pair already existing. Now click on launch instance. Okay, next view all instances. Instance state is showing in burning state right now. Let's refresh. Now we came to running state. Click here, Tomcat demo, select public IP. Go to sessions, SSH, remote host, give the provide the public IP here. Username is ec2 hyphen user. Advanced SSH settings settings. Use private key. My key is Amazon Amazon keys dot com. Okay. Open and ok accept connected right now I can do Amazon Linux too and uh, let me sudo m update hyphen y ok let me con let me connect the root user sudo su and go to cd slash opt Okay, next. First is what is the prerequisite for installing uh, Tomcat? We have to first install Java. So the command is yum install java-1.8.0 hyphen y. If you give hyphen y means you no need to go and input again in the middle of the installation. So it will take automatically. Java installing. Java installation is completed. Java hyphen version. java 1.8 version okay okay next is we need to install tomcat so that first we have to go apache tomcat download go here go for tomcat 9 which version we are uh, java version is what we have installed java version 1.8 right so we will download java tomcat 9 okay let me click here tomcat 9 come down 
I will take this star dot gz binary distribution. I am taking star dot gz. Copy link address. Go to mobile extra and you get this one. Give the URL. Press center. Give ls. Open error. This is the package downloaded. We need this is the tar file site. We have to give under it tar hyphen xvzf package name. Okay. Next ls hyphen l. So right now this one um, go to cd apache. Okay. Next go to ls ls hyphen l. So these are the uh, Tomcat folders, bin file contents. We can go and start start the Tomcat using this by going into this bin bin folder, and we can share. We can do the we can we can start and stop the Tomcat from from bin folder. Con conf folder contains the configuration files. We can change the Tomcat port number. Uh, the default port number is eight zero eight eight zero eight zero. If you want, you can change it to some 8181, something like that, by going into the server.xml file will be there in the configuration. LIV lib folder contains library files, and logs contains uh, uh, folder contains all the logs of the Tomcat. These are the main important folders. And one more folder is main important one, WebOps folder. We will deploy our work file in the WebOps folder. Okay, guys, let's start. <coughs> let's start the Tomcat first. So I am going into CD bin. Okay, ls. You have to give a sh. Startup dot sh. Right now Tomcat has been started. Tomcat started. So next thing is like we have to do like uh, next step we have to do come come out of the bin path CD dot dot. Again, ls you give it. Go to web apps cd web apps give ls go to cd manager give ls again go to meta hyphen enough meta hyphen enough go to ls here we have context.xml ok We have arrow is there. We have to remove. We have to remove this one now. Go to insert mode. I. I mode. I think we have to give some dot star. I think. Let me check once. Let me check the document. We have to. Put this one as dot star, okay. Let's keep the dot star dot and star, okay. Now save the document, escape colon wq, save and quit, enter, okay. It's done right now. So, right now I am in the, this path. I need to come for I because I need I have done some changes. Once we done do once we did any changes now, we have to. Uh, shut down. We have to shut down. Uh, start the Tomcat, and we have to start the Tomcat. Let me go back again. CD dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot. Now I am in Apache. Let's show the project working directory here. So I will go into bin right now to start to stop and uh, start the Tomcat because we have done some changes, right? So yes, it. Shutdown dot sh. I have shut down the Tomcat. Again, I am starting it. Start startup dot sh. Okay, enter. Right now, my Tomcat started. Okay. Next, <coughs> next you go here. Uh, one more, po one more point is we we. Uh, after installation, uh, we have to open the port number. 
Okay, let me open the port number. Secret, go to security group. <laughs> we have to open the port number. 8080 Tomcat port. Right now I have only SSH port number. Go to edit inbound, in, inbound rules. Add rule. And give the port number 8080. Access from anywhere means all zeros. Save rules. Now you go to the IP. IP of the Tomcat. Public IP. Take the, take the public IP of the Tomcat and access that in the browser colon 8080 okay right now I'm going to manage app it will work for me uh, it will not work because we have to create Tomcat users right now see I have not created the Tomcat users if you give also it will not work So it's not working. I need to I need to go back and create the Tomcat users. We have to go to configuration folder. Right now I'm in bin. I'm coming back. cd dot dot slash co and the configuration folder. Go enter here. Give ls. You have to open the Tomcat users dot xml. Vi Tomcat users dot xml. We have to create the uh, uh, users for users. Tomcat users here, then only we can log in. Press insert mode, go to insert mode, and uh, go to give and enter. One enter, and now we will create the users Tomcat users. Just copy these things. Using these Tomcat users, you will log in into. Tomcat uh, user interface port, admin portal. Right now, I copy that uh, all the users here. Okay, let me save this one actually. Let's put this in some order. Okay, escape colon W can save and quitting. Guys, now I'll try. Uh, now I'll try again. Once you press this manager admin and admin is the user. Let me try. Yes, it's done. Previously I have not created the user, but I tried. It's 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 not allowed me to log in. After that I uh, I created the users and I tried to log in. I am able to right now log into this Tomcat admin portal. Let us uh, install one uh, one uh, one. Uh, one war file. I have one war file. Let me show you. Mm, choose choose file. This is my war file actually. Open. You have to click on deploy so that it, the, so that this war file will go and deploy. This war file right now. This this Facebook dot war is not there here. After clicking on deploy, it will come. It will come. It will come in, in this panel. Just I'm clicking on deploy. Okay. See this Facebook. Our application was deployed right now. I'm clicking on this Facebook. See this one. I only wrote this all the things previously in the in the index.jsp file. I wrote this one. Application deployment steps and all. So this is the how we can deploy the application in the Tomcat. Suppose if uh, suppose by suppose if uh, if we did uh, some other changes for this uh, index.jsp, I want to add thanks for watching something like that. I want to add one more line. I'm copying the whole line copy and then pasting the down thanks for watch thanks for watching like that so that thanks for watching I, I, I have done some changes for the code 
okay i'm saving this one here after the code is uh, changed uh, i need to i need to execute this uh, clean end uh, package right now so i have to i have to go here actually facebook is the application we should go into the formed xml path and we have to go to cmd and we need to uh, build our uh, project and then and then clean and package enter it will build and create one war file it will package the our application as a war file that war file is facebook.war the build is successful so we have to go to target folder so just now this should be created i think 18th 1224 right now 1224 is the time 1225 just now only this war file was created let me deploy this war file right now to deploy what we have to do first we need to undeploy this first before before application go back this is the facebook application we had deployed previously i am i am doing like uh, undeploy because i want to deploy uh, cm application with the new new version right so some uh, some changes some changes were updated in the code so i want to update that uh, new application so so that only i, I am deployed the previous uh, previous one and right now i am uh, i am deploy that uh, updated version updated work file choose file go this is the our work file latest work file after changes open here and the file came here after that we need to click on deploy then only it will deploy deploy so this came right now here click on facebook see i added this line thanks for watching after all the changes we deployed our application successfully guys thank you very much for watching and uh, like and subscribe my channel